Okay, Michael Shea again here with um, embryology and we just looked at the sperm and the egg as you can see in part one and now we're going to do part two and we're going to talk about the fertilization process with these beautiful Samso German models. So let's take a look at this first model here which is really interesting. So we can see here uh, the tail of the sperm. So in the previous model we saw a very enlarged sperm. Now in this particular model we can see right here the head of the sperm, the tail of the sperm, and as I said what will happen is the tail of the sperm will break off. And here we see a perfectly round egg and that's the beauty of the polarity of the sperm and the egg. We have this perfect roundness with with very um, slow movement and then the sperm of course as you know moving very fast and here uh, we have the yellow again as the cytoplasm and then right here the genetic material of the female so as you can guess this genetic material in the cytoplasm of the egg here is going to have to get close to this and vice versa so let's see how that happens now Now, before we do that, look at this. It's like an emoji. It's like this amazing unicellular egg. It's a beautiful representation um, of the roundness, as I was saying, of the egg itself. And this this polar body right at the top, which is typical. And as you remember from the first video, the corona radiata has been removed, just showing you the roundness of this egg. It's so amazing. And it is visible to the human eye. It's probably about uh, a little smaller than a poppy seed. Um, it's a tiny little um, egg. But boy, does it grow fast once it gets fertilized. Now, the life expectancy of this egg without fertilization is up to about seven days. So once the egg gets released from the ovary into the fallopian tube, it then starts to roll down the fallopian tube. And it has about seven days of a, of a life cycle. And if it doesn't get fertilized by then, um, it dies. So seven day life cycle. Now. Where were we in this story of fertilization? So here, in this particular model, um, we see that the head of the sperm has um, left its shell, and it actually goes through a very dramatic expansion phase, and the genetic material is released into the cytoplasm of the egg here, and there's changes then that begin to occur within the cytoplasm. Um, it's called cytoplasmic shift. And there's uh, different densities that occur within the fluid of the cytoplasm, thickening it. And that's giving a strong signal to the genetic material of the female here. So they then start migrating towards one another. And then, we can see here this amazing image, another emoji here. We've got the genetic material of the male, the genetic material of the female uh, coming close together, uh, going through the fertilization process. It takes about 24 hours. If you were to see this under an electron microscope, you'd see a tremendous amount of, of vibration uh, occurring at that point. Um, it's like the uh, cytoplasm is getting uh, shaken up. You can see the remnants of the polar bodies up here, the genetic uh, material that's left over um, from this process of fertilization. And then finally, uh, to finish the process of fertilization, we'll look at this one. So we can see now that the genetic material of the male and the female has been shared and the chromosomes have been shared um, across each other and here we see in this whole representation of this particular model the um, beautiful 
end of the fertilization process. Now once this egg has been fertilized, it takes about 24 hours before you get to the first uh, polar division. And we'll talk about that in the next video. Thank you.